Nvidia has just released Gliner PII. When I saw the word Gliner in the model's name, it immediately reminded me of the model which I covered more than one year ago, as you can see on your screen. This Gliner model is based on a very interesting architecture and even at that time I thought that this is ahead of its time and now Nvidia has proved that this architecture holds. In this video, not only I am going to install this Gliner PII model locally, we will also do a hands-on demo with a real use case. Plus, I am also going to describe in very simple words what exactly is this Gliner network architecture. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot and that is what drives this channel and keeps the lights on. So, even before I show you the demo, let me give you a quick overview of this model. So Gliner PII is a non-generative span tagging model from NVIDIA for detecting and classifying personally identifiable information or PII and protected health information PHI in both structured and free form text. It's built on the Gliner by large base and fine tuned with a synthetic persona grounded dataset that spans 50 plus industries and 55 plus entity types. And this dataset is Nemotron PII, which is a very high quality synthetic dataset. Out of the box, the model produces span level annotations and support thresholding so teams can tune precision recall to their risk tolerance. The model's sweet spot is automated reduction and audit across regulated workflows, healthcare notes, financial documents, legal contracts, logs, and user-generated content, which helps with a lot of compliance and regulatory frameworks like GDPR, HIPAA, CCPA, and a lot of other government-related regulations. Because it's label conditioned at inference time, you can steer it by supplying the labels you care about and I will show you in the example. So let's get started. I'm going to use this Ubuntu system. I have one GPU card NVIDIA RTX 6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM. I'm starting by creating a virtual environment and if you're looking to rent a GPU or VM or CPU on very affordable price, you can find the link to Mast Compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for range of GPU. So please do check them out. Our virtual environment is almost done. Next up, let's install Gliner. And I will explain to you what exactly Gliner is in a bit as it starts installing it is going to take a minute or so while that happens let's talk about what exactly is this gliner thing so architecturally gliner is a transformer based label guided named entity classification network or recognition network concretely in it encodes the input text with a transformer encoder and in parallel encodes your target label strings into label embeddings and then a span scoring head considers candidate text spans together with these labels embeddings to compute per label scores, which produces start and indexes plus confidences, so non-generative yet very flexible. The label condition design is what the network is Gliner implies here. This model is promptable for entities and we control what it looks like for at runtime. So let's check it out and we will see how it exactly it performs. It is almost there. And the good thing is this pip uh, glider command installs everything you need. So let's wait for it. And Gliner is now installed. Let me show you how to do the inference. So I'm just going to run this app.py and the app.py looks like this. All I am doing, I'm importing Gliner and then I am providing it this text. It's a free flowing text where a user is writing an email to support that the user cannot log in and invalid credentials and all that stuff. These are few of the labels which we are providing. 
and as i said earlier because the model is label conditioned at infant's time so we can steer it by supplying the labels we care about and what happens is that we don't need to change the weights of the model and after that we can even put it uh, llm as a judge and then we are loading the <clears throat> model and then we are predicting the entities and scoring it if it is a personally identifiable information or not so let me go back and run this the first time it is going to download the model so you can see that it is downloading the model which is just under 2 gig and there you go the model has been loaded and this is the output now if you look here it has given the score a very high score to the entities which are personally identifiable like you can see um, the username the phone number and the email all of them have been scored very high so this is the beauty of this Gliner. let me show you one more real world example which might make more sense in this case again um, you can see that i am loading the model and uh, once the model is loaded and all that stuff this is a text i am going to provide here now what i'm asking here after giving it this chunk of text i am asking it to find certain kind of sensitive info and then i'm printing it out the key part here is this label list that is how we steer the model so instead of being hardwired to a fixed set of entity types gliner reads our label names like email phone number username and then tries to spot spans in the text that match those categories we can change the label and we change what the model looks for and we don't have to retrain the model also look at this threshold the threshold controls how confident the model must be before it reports a hit lower threshold more results but also more false positives the output is uh, should be a list of spans so i hope that this makes sense let me go here let me run this and we will see how it works let's wait for it and this is the output of the model and as you can see it found five entities in our text and returned each as a span with character offsets and a confidence score for example if you look at username like am Sintosh or a macintosh it starts 267 and adds at 278 character and the score is close to one same goes with email and same goes with phone number and this basically start and end thing these are the positions of each match in the original string so if you are building some sort of rack pipeline or something like that of your own you can easily customize it and you have your citations and annotations quite easily so look very very useful model i would say and nvidia has really lifted the game or lifted the gliner to the next level let me know what do you think again please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot thank you for all the support